we got a great guest in studio now, Jennifer from the EDC. Good morning. Good morning. Heck of an event this past Thursday night out at the Ridge. Speaking of hot days. It's hot out there on the racetrack, <laughs> I'll tell you what. That was fun, and it was a good time, I think, uh, had by all. It was uh, seemed well attended by businesses around to kind of not only celebrate the EDC, but then learn a little bit more about what the Ridge is up to. Well, I think I think that's what I like about what it's become, is it's really become a celebrate everybody event. The Ridge has their new building, let's celebrate that. They're now seven year, eight years strong. Kapowson, um skydived in. Mm-hmm. They're celebrating 40 years. That's so crazy. That's awesome. Let's just lead in there. Hood Canal, I think, is celebrating, what was it? 80 years yeah. or something, something like, like that, that. Uh, but really being able to just say look what we can do when we come together and look at the businesses that we can help when we support each other mm-hmm. just really look at the impact that we can have when you've got that vision moving forward and we're so thankful 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 that Karen is in my office and was leading the charge on this event so Big shout out to her, but um, just a really great event. Had a really good turnout. Had a lot of people connecting. Um, as you guys know, the Ridge is one of our main drivers for our hotel need. Yeah. And having people be able to see that facility, even it, and maybe it's because I work with them all the time, but I'm always astonished when people don't know who it is that I'm talking about. Sure. So being able to showcase out there and the ability now that that training center, that event center has to be able to bring corporate events, mm-hmm. you know, really a lot bigger impact on, on those hotels. So that work is going to keep moving forward. We filmed a conversation with Tracy from the Ridge mm-hmm. about Motorsports Awareness Month. It's August. And so we'll have that on the air before too long, just kind of talking about more what they do and, um, uh, ways that they have uh, implemented things to keep the riders safe, of course, the mm-hmm. training protocols they go through, the classes and things like that. So it was fascinating and yeah, excited to hopefully be able to do a little more work with them uh, as we right. move forward. So anything on the hotel? You mentioned it. Where's you, you still got stuff happening on that? Uh, one? I'll answer your question, but um, before we wrap up on the event, I do want to thank our sponsors. A big thank you to Little Creek Casino, Hood Canal Communications, Heritage Bank, and Mason Transit. They all had booths there, so hopefully everybody got all of the freebies and and fun games that they had to play. With that so, wind, huh? Yeah. Knocking oh their... my gosh. <laughs> it's nice because on a hot day with the those surfaces heat up, so mm-hmm. you're getting heat from both sides. So that wind is really what what kind of helps keep I you would cool. Highly encourage folks to purchase and invest in weights for right. their tents. Something that we need to do here at the Old Radio Ranch. <laughs> I mean, that wind whips and it really does. Yeah. And the big tent, I I mostly just thought we need to put some some screens on those windows somehow so mm. the wind can still mm-hmm. come through but just not the sun yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right now onto the hotel what do you got anything new anything um yeah news? we um every month have something new we've uh, contact been contacted by probably close to 10 developers that are interested in it and we've hosted site visits here in the area um we're also looking at the need in belfair as well so really kind of tying it all together and and really just doing what we can to we're not realtors so we don't want to sell you the property but what we do is really facilitate that opportunity so let us let us know if you're interested we'll keep you updated when we have the first one breaking ground we'll let you guys all you know shout and cry and scream and (laughs) happiness and what was the number that you guys kind of came up on for a number of sets of beds here that would be a good impact well, based on our size or something? It's interesting. It's not really based on our size. It's based on how much we don't have right now. Yeah. So the way that, and I'm learning a lot through this process. So the way that our consultant explained it is we have the casino at one end. We have Alderbrook. Those are kind of our two big ones. Sure. The problem with those is that they they self fill so the casino really does a lot to drive people to the casino they fill it up based on their own need mm-hmm. alderbrook is very close to the same um 
but then you have the 130 visitors from the ridge who are not part of the casino. Yeah. Where where are they going to stay? But we don't have any real comparables to it. You're looking at maybe a few small ones downtown that have what 20 rooms. That that isn't a comparable thing. So what we're looking at and our biggest hindrance is that we don't have a comparable property. Do we have the need? Absolutely. But you need that first that first hotel to say yes let's go in so um the the basic number of a good starter one is about 120. Um, there was mention in the study that it needs to have room to expand and it needs to plan for that expansion because you will need it but getting that first 120 into it so that's where all of the work is going once sure. the first one go in, goes in i think you'll see a second one and a third one pretty quickly got another big event to talk about the hospital on what the 16th you said? on the 16th yep we just can't get enough of the events that we put on right. No, I'm sure. <laughs> we do one, an annual hospital event every year. Um, Mason General Hospital and Family Move Clinics is a great partner. Eric Mall will be there speaking. Mm -hmm. He's going to give us a good update, and you guys can get um, an idea of how quickly that medical office building is coming along. And yeah. they've, I talked with one of their employees at the membership appreciation event, and they've already added more footage to it to the original plan it is now bigger because of the need and, and the capacity that they're building so I want to say he mentioned they're up to seven new doctors that mm -hmm. they've recruited yeah so, something like that yeah really good opportunity to come out and um, support our local hospital I want to say it's 10 or 15 dollars for entrance but all of that funnels back into their foundation so it well, good. The EDC doesn't take any of it. It just goes right back into the hospital. Well, good stuff, Jennifer. Always nice to see you. Thanks and for having me. Thanks.